Welcome to the Celtic Mystic Broadcast on Mixler, the Reset Your Life Adventure into Ascension program, where energies are cleared and healing balance restored. Are you ready to change your life? Kick off your shoes and ground yourself, because it's time to connect. Namaste and welcome to the Celtic Mystic Broadcast here on Mixler. My name is Kate Cameron, the Celtic Mystic from Celtic Eye Studio in beautiful South East Queensland. And it's such a pleasure tonight to bring to you the Reset Your Life broadcast, where energies are cleared and healing balance is restored for those who wish to receive it. Now, if you were listening to last week's broadcast, you know that, that Mixler and the broadcast had some issues. If this happens again, please know that the broadcast is available in its entirety on my YouTube channel, the Celtic Mystic underscore, underscore Celticai Studio. But the link will be in the chat room if you so desire to follow it or visit my Facebook page, the Celtic Mystic or Celticai Studio to go and get that link as well. So, with all bases covered, let's set our intention for tonight's broadcast. Can you please join with me by just taking a deep breath and then letting your body relax? And we say together, We are surrounded by the light, enfolded by love, protected by power and watched over by source. Wherever we are, source is. I now ask the universe what would it take for each of us tonight who are listening to this broadcast, whether it be live or in the archives, to receive the energy, the healing, the balance, the guidance that they require in the fullness of its entirety so that we may each move forward as a positive contribution to our own life and our own living. And everything that doesn't allow that times a godzillion, we now ask the universe, reveal, release, reset and revitalize so let's have a little bit of spirit speaking just to find out what's going on i can feel that this clear oration is going to be quite interesting tonight so we've got some three songs out of that. I know, you, you guys hear basically gibberish. I hear songs while I'm doing it. So let's see what they are. The first one. Grease is the word, is the word, is the word. So that's the first one. Easy peasy, not so squeezy. We know where that one comes from. And next one. I knew a man named Michael Finnegan. He grew whiskers on his chin again. They blew off, then they grew in again. Poor old Michael, begin again, begin again. So yeah, a good old little song there, that one too. And last but by no means least, a little bit of Eurythmics. And I do apologize and send great love to Annie Lennox right now for what I'm about to sing. I was feeling complicated. I was feeling low. Now every time I think of you, I shiver to the bone. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. But we won't go into those bits because otherwise I'll just get, you know, the whole broadcast will be filled with me singing Eurythmics because I love that, that, that group. So we've got two, we've got three songs there. Very interesting to me. But the first two talk to me, well, the first one is about what we speak. The second one is about what we feel. And the third, the last one, it seems to me about doing and being. And because the whiskers grew and then they grew, they blew off and then they grew in again. Okay, so what is that all talking about for for us as energetic receptors that we participate in not only our own energy and what we create for our own lives, but we also participate in mass consciousness, in the beliefs and the thoughts and the actions of those around us and how those energies vibrate alongside of ours and some of them rub us up the wrong way. Some of us make us feel really groovy and some of them just send us to sleep. But what does it mean? Well, to me, it's talking about that three-parter. It's talking about mind, body and spirit and being in conjunction. And if those three things are not able to vibrate at the same resonance, at the same energy, well, then we start to have difficulties. And quite often... I hear people, people contact me and say, Kate, I'm unable to receive messages. I know I'm intuitive, but I just can't seem to get that final little bit. And this to me often talks about an imbalance in their own life and their own living. Let's just talk about that for just a moment. That inability to receive that last little bit to understand with clarity. 
Whenever we are, uh, we are in a state of stress, our body automatically goes into a lower vibrating state. Because even though that is a heavier energy, that feeling of stress is actually gearing us up for the fight or fight moment. Now that doesn't mean you can't get to that space from a higher vibration. But let's just think about it. If you are in a space of fight or flight, that's where your adrenaline is pumped and you don't know whether to cry or to run the other direction or to stand there and bop someone in the head. And when we are in that space, in that lower vibration, and this is just my understanding, so if it doesn't resonate for you, please go and do some research and find out and ask for yourself, why is this so? But I just feel that when we are in that lower vibrating state, we basically cannot attune, we cannot receive those high vibrating states. And so then it is a matter of us asking our bodies to change our vibration. We need to adjust our reception so that we can move from the complexity of being stressed, the complexity of being fearful, the complexity of being aggressive and even violent and asking our whole energy, our mind, our body and our spirit to align as one and to be in a space of reception. Because when we're able to receive energy, then we can choose what we're going to do with it. Now, if I'm having a disgusting day, and that does happen quite regularly, I can choose whether to keep it or to let it go. And so many people think they do not have that choice. And letting it go to me is as simple as saying, I choose not to participate in this energy. What else is possible? And then I have the expectation that there will be something else. And 99.9% .9 of the time, something else comes along so that then I can participate and choose that instead. And that is fun. So we've got that whole expectation place. And so straight away I'm feeling, because I can feel a cough coming on, so there must be something there to clear that we've got to do. Is that correct, Brolin? Yes, okay. <coughs> right, yes it is, okay, hold on. <coughs> oh yeah. So we've got <coughs> everywhere that, we, that you have the expe expectation that you cannot change the energy for yourself, would you now disallow, disavow your inability and instead would you choose to claim your ability to change the energy and everything that doesn't allow you to do so. We now ask the universe reveal, release, reset and revitalize and that's really interesting that flows really well into into what that that next bit because what Brolin's talking to me about here and apart from the fact that he's strutting around dressed in black leather what were they called in the Greece? The T-Birds, the Thunderbirds. That's right, the T-Birds. So Greece is the word, is the word. Now, Greece, of course, it may, I mean, in the movie, it was it was actually talking about the mechanics of the car and also the fact that the guy's hair was so heavily greased that you could have um, had an oil slick that covered their whole Pacific Ocean if you, if you dipped their heads into the ocean with it. But to me, it's talking about the slipperiness of words. So this week ahead, not only are we needing to be aware of the fact that we have choice and that we can choose to adjust our reception at any time that we so desire, and then we just have to be prepared to pick up the new choices, to pick up the new possibilities and have fun with them. Not only that, but we're going to have people around us who are being deceptive and illusionary. Illusionary, there's a new word for the day. Illusionary. So they're going to be basically speaking with forked tongue. Grease is the word. So if the word is grease, if it's greased, then it is slippery. They're slippery little suckers if we remember the movie Pretty Little Woman. But those words can be so slippery. A word that we feel and we are saying it for this reason, for that purpose, for that meaning, may have something totally different in our past or in, um, in previous lives, in the future even. So try to choose your words with ease and with perception. Now this means, you know, I'm not saying to go and, and digest a dictionary 
or to sit and read a dictionary every night. But I do find that exploring words is of, of great benefit and understanding the power that words have. Because sticks and bones, the sticks and stones, what is that? What is that? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me, right? Well, I would have to disagree to that. You know, that was just a saying that we used to say to try and to, um, to push the bullies away, yes? But we have to be so aware of what we're speaking over, not only our own lives, but the lives of those around us. What energy are we bringing forth with this amazing little tool that we have in our throat called the vocal cords? They're amazing things and they bring forth our individuality. Have you heard any two, two voices that are the same? Even twins do not have the same voice. One will be different to the other. But with these slippery words, it reminds me to be not only to be careful, but to also constantly go back and change what has been spoken over me. So you think about it, what has been spoken over you? Friends have said to you, oh, you know, uh, so-called friends, you're not good at that. You're fat, you're ugly, you're do da da you're this, you're that. You've had teachers who've spoken over you. You've had parents who've spoken over you. You have been spoken over by your culture, by your society, by the media that you participate in. If you've been baptized or confirmed, you've been spoken over. I, and that just reminds me of an article that I read just recently, a couple of weeks ago in a Reiki magazine, where a lady was talking about being um, Reiki attuned. And she liked to pray to God, the Christian idea of God. She believed in praying to Jesus. And yet, being somebody who was Reiki attuned and who was a participant in what we commonly know as spiritual New Age movement, she felt she was ridiculed by other people for saying that she believed in God and that she believed in Jesus. And so she stopped using those words. And then she realized through meditation and prayer and contemplation that what was actually happening was that she, it wasn't other people's judgment that was holding her back from using the words God or Jesus, but it was her own remembrance of what had been spoken over her as a child when she was confirmed and when she was baptized, that, that it would be her only God. Hmm? And so the, those words that came up into her memory, she cleared them with healing energy and with her own voice and said that, she, and you know, she spoke out that she is adult enough. She is discerning enough. She is aware enough to choose her own vows, to choose her own allegiance, to choose her own understanding of her belief system. So isn't that fascinating? And I feel that this is what will be coming up for so many of us this week. There will be these awarenesses of what has been spoken over us. And are you going to bow down to those? Or are you going to choose something different? Now, the interesting word of vows. Now, that to me, when let, let's use the idea of baptism. You have godparents who, and parents who stand in your stead and speak of your belief or what you're going to be brought up in. What you're going to be... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Ah, the word is on the tip of my tongue, so it mustn't be the right word. But what your awareness and what your being and your doing is involved with. You're surrounded by it. Excuse me, there is a lot to be cleared here. <coughs> I do apologize. So let's think about that word vow. Because you know when we're asking these questions, I try to include great depth and clarity in the questions themselves so that we're basically getting everything there is and trying to hit it with one question oh and Brolin has just said to me and everywhere that you have also said I give my word on that where you've made a promise and, let, and this links in with the word vows we say I will give my word I, you have my honour on that it's an oath it's a pledge, it's a bond, a covenant, a guarantee, a commitment. There's beautiful old world, world such as fealties and troth. 
is loyalties and contracts, promises and abeyances, is compliances. All of those words speak to me of that word vow. So I'm just going to ask the universe, what would it take for all of those things that vows mean? All of those things that mean that words that where we have pledged our obedience or pledged our understanding, pledged our action to, without our full conscious awareness, what would it take for each and every single one of those ties and bonds to be broken with ease? And everything that doesn't allow us to be unchained from those words, we now ask the universe to step in and help us out by saying, reveal, release, holy Toledo, <coughs> oh, reset and revitalize. Woof. So can you just feel it that your body's energy just changed? And you can go through each of those. I break all the oaths that have been spoken over me or that I have partaken in when I was not consciously aware. And everything that doesn't allow that, times a godzillion, reveal, release, reset, and revitalize. Do that with the words pledges, fealties, bonds, covenants, vows, troughs, loyalties, guarantees, contracts, commitments, promises, honors, and abeyances. I think I just remembered them all. <laughs> every, single, every single one of those, just use it. And break them and please add to that where you are not consciously aware of the consequences yeah consciously aware of the consequences and what would it take for you to see the consequences clearly in this next week ahead because this is talking to me also about those times and spaces where well, we just get that awareness that something's not quite right and it makes me think of, because I just had it happen to me. Do you know the saying, someone just walked over my grave? Yeah. Now, interestingly, Brolin's there telling me that the, that, that, was, that came into being somewhere around the 1700s. Now, that stemmed from the belief that there was no, that when someone passed away, they could still be spoken to easily. It came from the belief that past, present, future, living and dying were basically one thing. And isn't that the awareness that we have now? Is that in this present moment, we can have the understanding, this is what the saying is all about, that in this present moment, we can have an understanding of where, not necessarily where we're going to be buried, but that someone has walked over the space where we will be buried. And so that's the understanding. That's where that feeling, that sudden shiver and the goosebumps that come up. Interestingly, from a scientific viewpoint, my understanding is, is that when we get goosebumps and or goose pimples, whatever you speak or uh, say that they are, whichever phrase you utilize, it's actually a subconscious release of adrenaline, which is in response to a stressor. Now, a memory could have been clicked in your mind, a word spoken, an action completed, where your body responds subconsciously with adrenaline. And that's getting us back to that stress point, that complexity. So let's make it simple, sunshine. And when you, if that happens to you during the week, if you feel yourself breaking out in sudden goosebumps, ask whatever subconsciously has been triggered we now ask for that triggering to be released with ease and the bond to be broken, reveal, release, reset and revitalize. Because as Annie Lennox sang in Thorn by Your Side, Thorn in My Side, we can often feel complicated. We can feel low. We can feel that shivering to the bone. And it's things that are tucked away in our subconscious that we're not even aware of. So let's get into those, let's get to the heart of the matter, right into the insides of that. We don't need to know what or why, we just need to release it. Because if I knew every single thing that was going on around me and what it was capable of and what it was going to do, I think my head would hurt. I'd rather be moving forward with ease and that does not mean with ignorance. You need to move forward with perception and reception. And I say those words over and over again because they're so very important to us and our understandings. And so then we come to the Michael Finnegan song. And it's talking that and it speaks to me about basically you've cleared the, the you've cleared the energy 
So what are you going to believe in? And if it's your choice to believe in an illusion once again, then that's your choice and that's okay. But you might also like to choose something different. So they're saying to you this week ahead to look carefully at the choices presented to you. You might be presented with only one choice for your beliefs and your actions to be hinged upon. But you might also be presented with five, ten, hundred, a million different choices. And it just seems to me that, that over and over again they're pointing to us about our um, our faith, our spirituality. Where would we choose to base ourselves in this time and in this space so that we can move forward? And, if, and I love that. <coughs> Excuse me. So with, that's our right, so our faith. So everywhere that... Our, <laughs> how am I going to word that one, Brolin? So everywhere that our faith has held us back or held you back, would you now allow yourself to free yourself from the constrictions of faith and instead step into the freedom of faith and everything that doesn't allow you to adjust your perception and your perception at this time we now ask the universe to do so with ease reveal release reset and revitalize and let's go back to that first one everywhere that you've given your word would you now allow your word to be released reveal release reset and revitalize because promises can be thrown around really willy-nilly I promise to do that I promise to do this promises that you've made to yourself I promise to have give up smoking by the time I'm 35 holy crap I'm 55 now you know those types of things I promise to lose weight I promise to save more money I promise to do this and I promise to do that and then it doesn't happen and then what happens the guilt starts to layer on mm -hmm. it's time to release those promises instead day by day, moment by moment, make choices which are consciously positive. And by doing so, you are removing the distractions. You're saying, I have confidence in the choices that I make, that I am confident that what is lying ahead of me from all of this diversity, that I will choose what is best for me at this time. And that's all we can do. Because when we make a choice with clear focus, clear perception, even if it turns out to be the silliest choice you could have made, you're then willing to release it because there's no promise attached and move forward with ease. So why don't you ask yourself at this point in time, what would it take To receive everything you require for your success over the next seven days. And everything that doesn't allow that, times a godzillion, reveal, release, reset and revitalize. Whew, those are big changes there. Now some of you automatically went, well, you know, I need $10,000, so am I going to get that tomorrow? I need to be two dress sizes smaller. Am I going to be that by the morning? It is everything that you require for your success. Now it's a success within the day, success within the week, success within the month. Things are incremental. And I, I always uh, love the, the, the shampoo ad, I always use refer to it. It may not happen overnight, but it will happen if you keep asking the question. And then let us go back to the beginning again. So let's hear, because the the whiskers blow off and then they blew in again. <laughs> they grew out and then blew in again. Yes, Brolin, he's reminding me I didn't say it properly. We have an opportunity to activate our faith and say, I am human, I made the boo-boo, I made the mistake, but I'm going to go back to the point of origin, I'm going to start again. Because what it's asking of us is to approach every single choice as if it is the right one as if it is the right one to make and I read recently in a tarot book that our life events act as their own oracles it reminds us of what we've been thinking and what we've been doing of what we are being 
and it speaks to us because it asks us is there something you would like to change because this is an opportunity it's a kick in the cycle it's a hiccup if you like to say what else what else would you like in your life and then move forward okay <coughs> excuse me now that one was my coughing I feel we've spoken enough there there was a lot of talking but there were some really strong questions that we needed to clear as well we're about to go into the healing session of tonight's broadcast please if you have some water some crystals that resonate for you a candle um, cloth whatever it is that floats your boat that you utilize as a tool of your faith please go and grab it so that we can activate it and utilize it in the healing part of the broadcast I'll see you in a moment educating your mind and transforming your heart the Celtic mystic channel on Mixler it's time for the Reiki to flow to wherever it needs to go allow balance to be found and your body to ground may your truth be energized reveal release reset revitalize the Celtic mystic on Mixler okay welcome back let's get into the healing so what would it take for each of us to receive the healing balance we require to minimize the side effects of the releasing that we just did what would it take for that releasing to be made easy through this healing balance and everything that doesn't allow that times a godzillion reveal release reset and revitalize now interestingly because most of that session was talking about words and what's also on our heart I'd like to place um, hands around the throat chakra now some of us are not comfortable with this and what I find easiest when I'm working on my own throat chakra is that you can put your the the bottoms of your hands together like at the wrist and then just cup it up around your throat that's one way of doing it okay I like to do it a different way of course of course I like to do it differently and so that's take your right hand and put on the left hand side of your throat and your left hand on the right hand side and so that the hands are crossed over the upper heart chakra or the heart chakra depending on how flexible you are and by doing this I just feel like that I don't know how to describe it just to me is that the Reiki flow for me is better but play with it find out what works for you and allows the flow to be the strongest now let's remember that some people sense healing energy very easily other people take more to understand that what's happening because healing energy is so unique it can be felt as a warmth a coolness a tingling it may also be experienced as nothing because Reiki healing dissolves barriers hmm? so in the fullness that divine healing energy is what would it take for us to receive that with ease in whichever manner in whichever way you require and so we just ask for this healing energy to flow not only to those who are subscribers to the adventure into ascension reset your life series not only to those who have requested Reiki healing over the next 30 days but to any and to all who require the healing balance and to any healing that is not required that is too much we now ask that healing to return to the earth as a healing for our beautiful planet that we live on and so just breathe deeply as this healing continues it's already started people so if you're already feeling it that's good <laughs> okay so just breathe deeply and so then as you're continuing to breathe and the healing is flowing the balancing is being restored I'd like you to visualize divine healing light flowing into your body from any and all directions but tonight it's flowing to your throat chakra specifically 
and it's flowing like droplets of honey, crystal clear and beautiful, sweet, healing. And those little droplets are forming a film, a covering all around your larynx, your vocal cords, your sound box, as I used to say when I was singing to children. And this honey is spiritual honey. It's a cleansing agent. It's a removal of viruses and bacteria, growths, anything that can impede our vocal cords from working at their optimum. But it also sweetens our words. And those droplets, they move through our digestive system. They move through down into our chakras, to the heart, to the solar plexus, to the sacral, to the base chakra, all the way down to the earth star chakra located beneath our feet. And that sweetness fills our body. And then it flows up to the third eye chakra, to the crown chakra, to the soul star chakra above our heads, and then back down again. And it seeks anything which is not sweet to our life and our living and removes it with ease. It helps our thoughts become aligned with the sweetness that we wish to see in our life. It soothes, it supports, it nourishes, and it raises our vibration. It brings us ease. And when you are ready, Release your hands from around your neck. Just place them over your heart. And just feel that ease there. You might feel that you could take deeper breaths. You might also feel that your spine is a little straighter. Whichever that is, Know that it is right and light for you. Your body is realigning. And then, when you're ready, take a deep breath and say, Reveal. Release. Reset. Revitalize. And relax. Beautiful ones, please know that by listening to this broadcast again, you can receive that healing energy at any time. For those who are subscribers, please know to, to the Adventure into Ascension series, your individual messages will be going out to the universe and to into your drop boxes in on early Tuesday morning, my time here in Australia. If you happen to wish to listen to this live again, this will be going to broadcast again at 10 a.m. on Tuesday. And that is so that um, some of our American subscribers and American listeners can also join us in the chat room if they so desire. Magical ones, I hope that your words are sweet and that you have given the most amazing array of choices this week and that your reception and perception is adjusted so beautifully, evenly and easily that you can see those choices that you have and know that you choose the right one. Namaste and make a magical day.
feeling heavy, misguided and unsure which way to proceed? The Reset Your Life Adventure into Ascension Weekly Guide and Subscription provides you with individual recordings for four weeks. Through song, energy clearing, Reiki and lots of laughter, Kate records your personal healing guidance message, which includes clearing questions, a guided healing session, and then the energy is sent remotely each day to reinforce your healing. By downloading the free Dropbox software, you are automatically updated with your audio message each week. This ongoing monthly subscription can be cancelled at any time and is worth 30 Australian dollars. If you're interested in signing up to the Reset Your Life Adventure into Ascension and being a part of our Facebook group online, please contact me through my website keltikai.com.au or through my Facebook page Keltikai Studio or The Celtic Mystic.